The next option you have is to save references to a database. And when I say references, I mean the bibliographic information. Sometimes it's referred to as a citation, sometimes it's referred to as a reference. Unfortunately, they tend to get used interchangeably. But let's jump over into our databases and I'll show you how to do that. So now we're back in ProQuest. And this is, again, to save you a little bit of aggravation instead of having to download individual PDF documents, which may or may not actually be available. So let's just select the 20 items that we've got on this page. Notice up in the folder at the top, this is uh, the selected items folder. We've got 20 that we've just selected and if we click on it, we'll see the selected items. And at this point, we have a number of different options over on the right. And here's what we want to do, save to my research. Now there's another bunch of other things you can do. We'll talk about exporting in a second. Let's save to my research. And here are some folders that I've already created. So I'll create a new one. Now we've saved it into a folder called test test results one or whatever I called it. You can see how this might be powerful as you're doing your research for individual chapters for your thesis, for example. You might want to save particular items into a literature review, or if you have multiple facets or subjects that you want to cover in your literature review or for your thesis or your paper or whatever, you can have different folders that cover different topics and keep them all separate. You don't have to download each individual PDF and worry about renaming it and worry about when you're going, where you're going to put it. You can just wait until you're ready and then click get it at Laurier. Now in Web of Science, even though you can't save individual searches, you can save records. And we'll do that and add to a mark list. I've created a list in here called test one. And we see down below, we just added 50 records into our marked list called test one. 